All right, guys, quick video showing you how I took my FPS from the mid 170s up to the high 200s. If you're on somewhat of a semi-decent graphics card, you need to try what I'm about to show you. I was shocked at the performance and frame increase that I got by simply changing this one setting in the configuration file. It's by far the highest frame increase that I've ever gotten from just changing one setting. I'm also gonna show you a setting that we've all been wrong about for the last year and how you should have it set to get the best performance. All right, so real fast, I just wanna quickly go through and show you a few of my window settings for Modern Warfare 3, just so you know how I have them configured, just in case you wanna change yours to try to match my performance increase. All right, so starting with going down to the Windows button, next you wanna click this settings icon right here. Then you wanna to go to where it says gaming, make sure this is turned on. This will turn things off in the background while you're playing, making sure the game takes priority. Next, you wanna click the graphics tab, go to where it says Call of Duty down here. If it's there, just click it, make sure high performance is checked. If for some reason Call of Duty isn't there, just come up here and click this browse button, go to your C drive and then program files x86. Next, you wanna find the Call of Duty folder, then open up the retail folder, scroll down until you see the COD app, just click it, hit add, once it's there, just change it to high performance with your GPU listed. Now, lastly, for the window settings, you wanna come up here and click change default graphics settings. Now I've tested this back and forth for about an hour. I kept backing out of the game, changing hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and then restarting my computer. Every time the game felt more responsive with my frames topping out a little bit higher with the setting turned on. Just remember though, you do have to restart your computer whenever you change this setting. As for optimizations for windowed games, I tested this as well. I can't tell a difference either way. Regardless, this is more for windowed mode and full screen borderless. If that's something you use, give it a shot. If not, I would just turn it off. All right, so what you're seeing on your screen right now is the end of a benchmark test that I ran before I changed anything in the configuration file. You can see from the benchmark results that with everything in the file left at default, I get an average FPS of 186, the average FPS for the GPU is 197, and then the average FPS for the CPU is 256. Now, you guys are gonna see me back out of the game and open up the configuration file. Now, you guys can get there by going down to the yellow folder at the bottom of your desktop, clicking Documents up on the left, and then click Call of Duty, and then Players folder, find where it says options.4.cod23, and then open it up using Notepad. Now, the very first setting up on the top of the screen says, set a target fraction of your PC's video memory scale to be used by the game. And just like we used to do in Warzone before it stopped having an effect, I changed the number in between the parentheses from 0.900000 to 2.0000. Now, for those of you that don't know, this setting tells the game how much VRAM it's allowed to use on your graphics card while you're playing. And in the in-game options, the most you can set this to is 90. In there, it's called VRAM target scale, but here in the configuration file, you can go quite a bit higher by manually changing this number in between the parentheses. Now, back in Warzone, changing this to its max made the game feel a lot more responsive, and it gave a lot of people a noticeable frame increase, but somewhere along the line, it just stopped having an effect. But as you'll see in a second, when I max this out in Modern Warfare 3 and then load the game back up, now when I run that same benchmark again, with the settings exactly the same as my first test, my average FPS jumps from 186 to 210, the average FPS for my GPU goes from 197 to 225, and then my average CPU FPS goes from 256 to 261. Now that's just average FPS. Now whenever I'm in an actual game with the settings maxed out, my FPS stays in the mid to high 200s instead of being stuck in the mid to high 100s. Now, like I said before, changing this setting in the configuration file, it's had by far the biggest effect on my frames per second than any other setting I've ever changed ever. I'm hitting over 300 FPS on certain maps when before I changed this, I wasn't even hitting 200 and that's with the settings and the map exactly the same. Now, you do need to be careful if you're on a budget graphics card, something with like only four gigs of VRAM, this could cause some stuttering and crashing, but if you're on anything above a 1660 for NVIDIA, give this a shot. If you're on a 20 series card or up, you should definitely try this. It's worked for a lot of people. Now, if you are running somewhat of a lower card and maxing it out causes any issues, just try lowering it down a little to 1.5 or even 1.1, 1.2. See if that makes a difference. And worst comes to worst, you can always just come back in here and then go and change it back. Now, if you do try this, make sure you're maxed out at 90 with the VRAM target scale in the in-game options first. If you move that slider, it's gonna reset whatever you have it set to 
in the configuration file. So if you're gonna try this, first you wanna load the game, then you wanna make sure the VRAM scale target is set to 90, hit apply and confirm, then close the game out, that's very important. The setting won't take if the game is open when you change it. Once you close the game out, just open up the configuration file, change the number in between the parentheses to 2.0000000. After that, come up here to where it says file, then click save and save all. I'd even do it a couple times just to make sure it saves. After that, just load the game up and then you're good to go. Now, lastly, I just wanna quickly talk about this setting right under the memory setting called thread count for handling the job queue. I've looked up what this could mean. Everything points to this setting referring to thread counts, not the number of cores your CPU has. Everybody on YouTube, including myself, thought this is where you set the number of cores you want the game to run on. But when I first opened up the new configuration file, it was set to 15 by default. I only have a 12 core CPU. The game would have detected that and it would have been set to six or 12 by default. I do have 16 threads, which is why it was set to 15. Just find out how many threads your CPU has, set it to that number. The max that you can set it to is 16. Guys, let me know down below if either of these settings help. I'll have a footstep audio video out soon for maximizing footsteps and a ton more content like this, especially once Warzone switches over. Make sure to subscribe if you want those notifications. Now, three things you're gonna notice about my videos is I actually test and research everything I show you. I don't make videos just to make them, and I try to keep them as short and to the point as I can. There's a lot of people out there on YouTube that make videos just to make them, and they put out the same settings and PC videos over and over every season without actually testing them. Sometimes it's gonna take me a little longer to get a video out, but that's only because of the time it takes to actually test everything and make sure you guys are benefiting. If you found this video helpful, drop a like. Follow me over on Twitter to stay up to date on everything Modern Warfare 3 and the new Warzone when it switches over. And subscribe to the YouTube channel for more short, straight to the point videos like this. I'll catch you next time. And if not, kick rocks. Peace. Kick rocks. Bia.